mix, the three, tis flirtatious. And uh, away they go, and Vianet got a flyer out of there, hopped a length and a half in front of first jump. Vianet going on to set the early pace. Marketing mix going to sit right there in second. On the far side, we have Starstruck now moving up third. In behind that is Tiz Flirtatious, now Ryder dropping her back into mid-pack. Along the inside comes Lady of Shamrock. She's been followed then by Topic, and up alongside of Topic is my Gigi. Through the stretch first time round, and Via Net goes on to lead them now by two and a half. Marketing Mix is tracking from the second spot, and Starstruck is in third. Then it's Tiz Flirtatious, a very comfortable fourth, taking a nice hold, just four and a half off the leader. Lady of Shamrock back third last, been followed then by Topic, and My Gigi is the early trailer. Eight lengths would cover them all. They head to the three-quarter pole, and Vianet now sneaking away up front without using up any excess energy, and Vianet now goes clear to lead it by three and a half. Marketing Mix is racing along in the second spot. Starstruck is in third. Tiz Flirtatious still travels comfortably in the fourth spot, gives them five length start. They're closing in on that leader now. Then it's Lady of Shamrock, Topic, and My Gigi. They have a half mile to go, and it's still Vianet in front, but only by a length and a half now. Marketing Mix is right there, second, starstruck in third, tis flirtatious, four and a half off the leaders. Behind that, Lady of Shamrock, Mai Gigi sent along on the inside, and Topic is last. They are coming to the top of the lane, and it's still Vianet kicking for home now, tries to shake loose again. Vianet by length and three quarter. Marketing Mix comes after her, starstruck on the outside, and now tis flirtatious pulled to the grandstand side, and tis flirtatious let loose coming home, gamely in the center, but Vianet tough on the lead. Vianette is flirtatious, catching on the outside between the marketing mix. Three of them run for the wire together. Tis flirtatious grandstand side. Tis flirtatious marketing mix and a thriller. Tis flirtatious one at marketing mix. Vianette a very come good third. Behind that was Starstruck. The race comes down to Tiz Flirtatious and Marketing Mix again, although it looked like at the top of the stretch maybe Vianette was going to pull off a shocking upset. But in the end, Tiz Flirtatious comes running late and gets the win in the Grade 1 Rodeo Drive. Well, Vianette might pull the upset here at 28-1. to 1, And I think this is a situation with nobody, none of the other riders thought Vianette had a chance. So when she opened up six on the backside, go ahead, Victor Espinosa, you're going to back up to us. And it didn't really happen. And Tiz Flirtatious and Marketing Mix both get her late, but it's Tiz Flirtatious who we were chatting during the race, you know, just loaded turning for home. Yeah, she looked like she had a lot of a lot of racehorse, and Todd, you mentioned it, Julian has really started to learn uh, what this horse can do and, and what she can do. He kind of covered her up early on. He, she was kind of fighting him a little bit early on, but he got her to relax, and when they turned for home with that straightaway, she has an amazing late kick. And she was your second choice in the wagering at 8-5, to five, your favorite marketing mix at 6-5. to five. Let's take another look here as they turn for home with Vianette on the lead. I thought Stevens was done at this point. Yeah. I'll give marketing mix some credit because... That's just how classy he, she is. He was all over her, and she wasn't really responding. And then all of a sudden, you're right, the, the gameness and class in her earner of nearly $2 million kind of took over, and Vianette begins to get a little fatigued also. But Tis Flirtatious is gobbling up ground to the outside. I mean, it was close in the end, but it's kind of a measured yeah. head-neck score for Tesla Flirtation. And Maddie, how